Hey y'all, I'm Magicat, and today I wanted to talk about Shadow Mox and Skyrim. Shadow Mox are like a secret language only known by the Thieves Guild members. They are a series of codes meant to help out fellow thieves. Now you may know about Shadow Mox, or maybe not, or you may know of them but have never really utilized them. Shadow Mox aren't new to me, but I've never carefully considered them, and I think that's a mistake. When playing any character I've created, I like to be immersed. The Thief is my favorite build, but neglecting Shadow Mox and Skyrim as a member of the Thieves Guild is not playing the game as intended. I first learned about Shadow Mox from a book written by Dalvin Mallory. It lists out all the Shadow Mox and what they mean. The first is called Guild, and it means that there are guild members in this location and it is a safe location for thieves to congregate. You can find this mock in various locations, such as the Ragged Flagon, the Ratway, and the Riften Cemetery where the entrance of the Cistern is located. There are a few rather sneaky ones too, like one on the barrel in the Riften Marketplace where you first see Brenyoff. You also see two at Ripwild Manor, and one mocks Glover Mallory's house in Raven Rock. This is probably due to the fact that Glover Mallory is also Dalvin's brother. Safe means there may not be guild members nearby, but this area is safe. I couldn't find many locations with this mock, which is pretty grim because it means thieves don't have much of a sanctuary from their crimes. I found this mock near the gates of Whiterun under the bridge. I also found it on tree stumps near Nightingale Hall. I also noticed that if you do go to these locations, you're not very safe at all. And if the point is that you can hide in these locations, you can hide just about anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very protected. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, I'm supposed- this is sanctuary, what the heck? You'll make a fine run, Get away from me. I guess conceivably you could hide here, but yeah, I am very <laughs> not protected. <laughs> very unsafe. But don't worry, there may be no place to hide, but the escape mark can help you if you get yourself into a pickle with the gods. Escape can point out escape routes in jails and prisons. I got caught in Riften and Whiterun, and this mock was supposed to help me find an exit. I usually had more trouble finding the mock than the action option though. You can also avoid trouble by looking out for the danger mock. Normally the danger mock means a powerful warrior is inside. I found this mark near places where if I did take something, there would be lots of powerful warriors to fight me, like your Vasker, the East Empire Company, and the Dwemer Museum. Rauka in the marketplace also has one behind her. You gonna buy something? Or just here for How trade. rude. Otherwise, move on. You're she is so all rude to me all the time. Come on, come on. The sooner you buy, the sooner I can get drunk. <laughs> yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Beautiful. By Yizmir, a thief! Someone oh, get out do please. something! Someone do something! Don't mess with Kralka. I'm staying out of this. And in the cellar of Mercer Frey's house, you'll find one near the entrance to the Ratway vaults. I also found this mock at Silver Blood Inn, the property of one of the most powerful families in Skyrim. And on Aaron's house, because Mule would probably kick my butt if I stole from Aaron. You gotta be careful or Mule will get ya. Protected means the area or the people inside are under the guild's protection. The homes of families and individuals who have helped or were helped by the guild bear this mock, such as Erica's house in Solitude. Erica is part of a quest for the guild once you do five jobs in Solitude. In Windhelm, you'll see it near House Clan Cruelcy. House Clan Cruelcy is also protected and part of a quest after five jobs in Windhelm. So House Clan Cruelcy, they were involved with a quest with our rivals, the Somerset Shadows. In Whiterun, you might see this mock on House Clan Battleborn. I think House Clan Battleborn is protected because Ulfric said that he would support the guild because we saved his friend from being executed. And of course, Blackbriar Manor and Blackbriar Meadery bear this mark because of the guild's involvement with Maven. Fence is probably my second favorite mock. It means that there's a merchant nearby who will buy your stolen goods. Once the Dragonborn has gone through enough of the Thieves' Guild quest line, they'll see one on Huntingbrew Meadery. In Solitude, you'll find one inside the Winking Skeever next to Golemai. Go away. But my favorite mock is Cash. Cash usually means there's a chest or barrel nearby with tons of cool stuff. The items are random, but almost always very valuable. And they replenish. In Riften, Honeyside, the house you can buy has one. Also, the wharf under the city has a barrel with this mock. And there's a barrel full of awesome stuff near Miss Vale Keep. In Windhelm, you can find one near Calixo's house outside Sundry's used wares, and outside the house that's available for purchase. As you complete the Thieves Guild jobs in any given city, more cash barrels will appear. I've listed all the places I found them in the description. Loot is also a good one. It means that there are valuable things inside. I found this mock on houses and other buildings with stuff inside worth taking, usually shops. In Whiterun, we have Arcadia's Cauldron, the Banner Mare, Balathor's, Carlotta's House, Carlotta's Market Stall, the Drunken Huntsman, House Greymane, Savario's house. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. I find it funny that it's in Huntingbury Meadery because that's also... 
that's also a place where the fence mark is found. And it's, it's kind of funny that you would rob the guys that you would then sell the stolen goods to. But that's the way they decided to do it. In Ripton, this mark will be found near the B&B, Bowley's house, the potion shop, Marisa's house, the pawn prong, Medesi's stall, Branche's stall, the scotched hammer, Snowshowed Manor, and Valendor's house. You can also find one in the Ratway vaults. There are many other places that bear the shadow mark, such as Radiant Rain Mint in Solitude, Victoria Vici's house, House Clan Shadow Shield in Windhelm, and the Treasury House in Markov. In Raven Rock, you can find one on a barrel inside Glover Mallory's basement, but I think this one should also be marked cash. I think this should be cash because you wouldn't loot a guild member or their relatives. This mark and the next can save a lot of time when looting places because I know when to bother and when not to bother. The final mark is empty, which means don't bother. There's nothing good in here. This mark is usually found on homes of poor families or where the poor might live or congregate, such as the Warrens in Mawkoth or Beggar's Row in Riften. I also found this mark on many of the smaller houses in towns and cities. In Whiterun, you can find it on the house of the man who yells at you in the streets. We are but my writhing in the filth of our own corruption. You can also find one on Olava's house, Uthgrid's house, and Yasolda's house. Markarth has one on the abandoned house and the Warrens. Solitude has one on Yala's house. Yala? Is that how you pronounce her name? I don't think so. I don't think I'm pronouncing anybody's name right today. <laughs> Learning and using Shadow Mox has been a good way for me to further immerse myself in Skyrim. I do wish the game would allow us to leave our own Shadow Mox for future thieves. I know that technically, since we're the only player in the game, that wouldn't make a lot of sense, but I think for immersion reasons, that would be pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all. <laughs> 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 <laughs>